Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a series of posts of places I have traveled since I was a kid. Have you heard of Boracay? It's one of the most famous beaches here in the Philippines. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about Pagudpud. Pagudpud is known as Boracay of the North. Come join me to see if it's more beautiful than Boracay. Look how clear the water is. Oh, you might think that's me, but that's not me. There, that's me. I was a small boy then. I love playing with sand, and I love snorkeling. What are you doing? Right now, my mom's telling me something, but I'm not listening at all. Because I'm always too busy throwing sand balls at my dad. It might go to the ice, darling. I'm always busy with them. This is the shore. There are lots of coconut trees, there are lots of mountains. But the place is really empty. It's like we're the only body, we're the only people there. Except those people. This is the view of the beach when you're standing next to the garden. This is a shadier part if the sun gets too hot and you can just rest under the trees. There are coconut trees nearby, and there's our car. It's a Chevrolet Suburban. There, that's what it looks like. And if you want to access the room, you're gonna have to go up the steps. Then back to the beach. That's my little sister. She always loves building sand castles near the, near the shore. And the waves always come to destroy it. Bad waves. But my sister is there guarding it. <laughs> and there are people looking at me and they're laughing. There I am. There. I went after I went to get water for my sister to help her build her sand castle. You can just go play in the ham play with the hammock. There's me and my sister just sitting down, waiting for my parents to give the signal so that we can go play. I'm already getting impatient at this point. Then my sister was still very joyful. I hated the scene though. Because I saw a crab and it just pinched me. That's me, climbing a tree. And here I am pushing the hammock, and my sister is enjoying the swing of it. She never lets me try it. She's always saying, no, it's my hammock. But I, I tell her it's unfair, you need to share. And this is the back, the back part of the house we rented. There are lots of animals there. There's a cow, there's a bird. There are wild ducks. I I forgot what that bird was named though. There it's colored yellow and white. Wait, look at look at it. It seems to be getting attention trying to get attention of the cow. This is the this is the lake. You might think it's a river, but it's a lake. Here's another view of the lake. My, I'm climbing down a tree so that I can get a better view. There, there are the wild ducks. They're just enjoying their time in the cold pool, lake I mean. There's some at the far distance, but they don't really care. Oh wait, one of them is getting fish. I wonder how many ducks there are, though. Look how beautiful they are. Just enjoying their time. Ah, oh, man. Oh, this tree that I'm standing in front of, it's called Balete. And these are the windmills. They were created at the time of Marcus. The waves you see there 
are actually pretty strong. And there are two islands over there. There, those two mountains, I mean. There is a shore. And not many people. Some coconut trees. And the wind is shaking the camera like crazy. The beautiful... The beaches here are really beautiful. Just looking around. There's our car. There's our guide. There were some boats there. It's really a wonderful place to visit. But do you know how we got there? Oh, it was a very long drive because this is the northernmost part of the Philippines. It was a really long drive. It took from morning till night. Entering Seoul. Beach resort and restaurant. Oh. Very northern point of Philippines. The topmost part of the Philippines. One millimeter. <laughs> One millimeter away from the, from the water line. At night. So that was the conversation inside the car. Now let's move to daylight. This is what it looks like when we were just we were leaving the resort on the same road. It looks extremely different during the day though. Let's listen to my sister trying to entertain herself by making noise. We got lost. What's the name of this name of again? Saud Pagod Pod. Pagod Pod. Good what does it mean? Bagad pad. Good pod. Finally, there's the gate for the resort. Uh, this this whole area, the whole area, belongs to the resort. And there's our guide waiting for us. He's going to take us to more places. This is our, this is me and Helen. Saying hi to the guy. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be showing more areas in Pagudpud, like nearby cities, and a lighthouse that its construction traces back to 1890. Expect to see the sunken ship too, like this picture here, and more places very close there. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!